once your ads, campaigns, et cetera, are approved, Twitter is going to be very fast at delivering that, much faster than other platforms that I've used. So you're going to quickly start to accumulate some impressions. You can see with this campaign, I, I just launched it not that long ago, and we already have almost a thousand impressions, which is pretty impressive. Now, to analyze the data, one thing to be careful of is what time frame you're looking at. So let's look at lifetime performance. We can see here um, how much was spent. We can see the total budget. So uh, let's take a look at some of these campaigns. So we only spent $476. Overall, about 82,000 impressions. You can see the total budget. That's not the total spend. That's the amount that was budgeted. You can see the results rate. So the click link click rate was about 3%. Uh, cost per result, daily budget, remaining campaign budget, etc. And uh, you can customize this as well. You can start doing uh, breakdowns by placement, for example. We can start to see, okay, how many are showing up in the audience platform versus on Twitter. Uh, if it skews too much towards the audience platform, you might start to get concerned. Maybe they're throwing you into some sort of junk inventory. Uh, we can look at other things like which metrics we want to look at. We can look at app conversions, pre-roll views, promoted video views uh, to see if people are actually watching the videos. Reach and frequency is something I like to monitor. Uh, let's get rid of this placements now and select none. So you can just see overall what's happening. So uh, now that we're looking at reach and frequency, which is known as a, in Facebook as delivery, uh, we can see the average frequency is about one and a half, which is fine. Uh, average frequency here is less than one, a little bit over one here. So there's not a problem here of too much frequency. People aren't being bombarded with the same ad over and over. Uh, the cost per 1,000 impressions we can see here is about $5, so pretty standard. Uh, particularly low in this campaign, which we'll go more deeply into later. Uh, tweet engagements, not, not a very important metric. Uh, it's not really correlated with much, but might be helpful if you're if you are trying to generate conversation, cost per engagement, etc. We can look at some other preset options here. We can see website conversions, website traffic. We can also customize the metrics. So here you can check off any key thing you want to look at. So for example, button one clicks, uh, button two clicks, button three, etc. Uh, I like to monitor the link clicks. That's pretty important to me, the link click rate. So those are the specific clicks that are we're most interested in generally. Uh, we can see other KPIs here with engagements, etc. Fill out whatever you want, whatever you need to track. And there's a, another preset option here, which is website traffic. Also going to be key, especially if you're uh, doing e-commerce and you're interested in short-term sales, you're, you're going to want to monitor that. So this high level section here, which is on the, the home page of your campaign manager, uh, is gonna show you what's going on with these different campaigns. And you can see I've paused a lot of them, but then we can look at the specific ad groups to see how those are going. So let's go specifically into this campaign here. And then since we only have one ad group, what's more useful is to look at the individual ads. So we have three different ads here that are being experimented with. This is a, a video of me. I'm using a prop in orange to talk about Facebook ads. This is a branded intro video uh, talking about my credibility as a Facebook ads instructor. And then we have this image ad for Facebook ads. So if we look at them, the CPMs are roughly the same. 68 cents, 66 cents, 65 cents. Uh, impression numbers are roughly the same. Let's see if there's anything that early on is, is distinguishing these different ads. So what we're going to want to look at is some different KPIs. So I'm going to customize it here and make sure that we're looking at the kinds of clicks that we want. And that's going to be link clicks and the link click rate. Hit apply. Now that we've done that, we can see that this video here, this branded video with my branding and, and, and my face talking is the one that is the only one that is generating clicks so far. And the click rate is 0.38%, so not bad.